Welcome to Panther Esports. Join us as we explore all that competitive gaming has to offer us as we go to our first LAN event at Mississippi State University. Growing up, parents got me a guitar. Said you could do anything, kid. You could go far. You could be the president, fireman, race cars. The sky's the limit, kids. So shoot for the stars. So I strum that guitar every day. Found the passion for music, never went away. I joined a couple bands and played a few shows. Tried to impress the girl in the front, bro. But soon enough, everything starts to change. As you grow up, nobody treats you the same. They so we made it here to Mississippi. Uh, it was about a 10 hour car ride, leaving at 7 a.m. to about 5 o'clock. We arrived here. Overall, not a bad trip. Actually, it went by pretty quickly. We only needed two or three stops. Um, now, we're rallying together, changing for the warmer weather. So, we're going to go ahead and talk with the rest of our teammates, get their ideas on what they're to be expecting for the tournament tomorrow, and what they're looking to get out of it. So, let's go ahead and talk to them right now. So, Ali, I uh, figured you could break down a little bit of why we uh, even decided to come to this land and why we were interested. Yeah, um, I thought that it would be, number one, a great experience for not only like individual players, but also just like our esports team in general. Um, I also think it's, number two would be like just a team camaraderie, just like oh, hanging yeah. out. I mean, but not only just us, but like hanging out with like the other teams that are attending this land. Mm -hmm. Ben and Dylan, just in general, what do you, how do you think the uh, first year of High Point Esports is going? Uh, I think that overall it's going really well. I mean, the fact that we are able to put together an officially recognized esports team that's competing on a national collegiate level is fantastic, uh, especially the fact that we're able to go to a land that's off several states away and mm -hmm. able to make a foundation for uh, all the underclassmen to continue with the program going in the four years after uh, where all of us seniors are gone is just incredible. Yeah. Yeah, and off of his point of um, the laying the foundation for the future of the program, I think the seniors have done a really good job of making sure that we are able to have that future and to bring in hopefully a lot more freshmen next year. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you for talking with us. We'll check back with you guys tomorrow. We've got the land tomorrow, so we'll all be getting ready and hyped up for that. Um, I think we're all starving. We haven't had a full meal today, so we're going to go grub, and we'll check back in later. Then sleep. Honest, life's a competition So if I'm going to play Then I'm gonna play to win it I refuse to sit and rot at a desk all day Unless I have a passion I'm working towards, okay? I'd rather be dead on the outside than inside A bullet to the head than 25 to life In a cubicle alone Just trying to get by Building someone else's dream Instead of building mine If you're hearing me This is meant to inspire If you have a dream Or if you have desires A girl in your life Is making you feel that fire Go fight for her man Go die for her man Cause you only have one life One chance to do it one chance to prove it to yourself, so don't lose it You got this fam, just keep pushing on through it One day you'll look back, so glad you pursued it Yeah, things are gonna get better real soon Yeah, I'ma just do me, you just do you I swear it's gonna get better real soon Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view we had an amazing time meeting all the teams and competing on stage. After wrapping up our game with the University of Alabama, I decided to sit down with the president of MSU Esports, Jay DeShong, to hear what he had to say about the tournament and collegiate esports as a whole. This is kind of the first time people in the Southeast have done something this big. Um, so I'm just real passionate about kind of, you know, esports and, and Overwatch especially, like just uh, and once you see it, like all you put an event like this together, and all these guys are kind of running around having a really good time, it's, that's why it's, it's kind of the people. Esports to me is, is really about inclusion, kind of like having everybody from all walks of life, you know, being able to do what we do. I mean, the guys from ULL, one of their guys is you know, has in a wheelchair and he's playing the same game we are. Whereas you know, this is football, baseball, basketball. The guys in a wheelchair, he's not playing. You know, um, we got you know, High Point has a girl on their team. Um, we, you know, we have we have a gay player on our team. It's all about kind of you know having things that are, you know, unorthodox on teams. We have these team environments that are kind of different, and then go down to the club level, and we have everybody: black, white, girl, man, just all of it. So it's really all about inclusion at the end of it. And that is what our first tournament taught us. Esports is inclusion, where anyone can compete for a shot at greatness.